calling Fiona a liar in the side chat for like a week straight. What? No, I have not. I have I never called haven't? her a liar. I have I... never called her a liar once. You, have haven't, actually... that, you haven't Make said that, that she lied in the side chat for the last week? Oh, where? I don't uh, call people liars. I don't take that lightly. You, that, you, that I, I apologize. You may not have used the word liar. You have accused her of lying in the side chat. Several times. Well, Every hang out no, she's in. You're making crap up. I don't want to talk to you. No, I'm not. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Fiona. Wait, how wait, many nucleotides? Fiona how many, knows. Fiona, how approximately how many nucleotides okay, are different between I, I, the two? I'm going to do something I never have done here. Notice, notice I them. Do notice them. Talk not, to I'm hiding you from broadcast. I this do is why I want to help you not know. Fiona, please let me. And I, you I know why I don't know? Because I don't. I haven't worked with a flagellum. I've not worked on that, but I have I cannot, looked at the alignments. I cannot talk very loud. It's starting to get me around 9 o'clock, okay? So I don't want to have to shout over people. Uh. Answer to something, and you kept on pressing her and asking her over and over again. And then Steve came in from the side and wasn't letting you speak. Steve actually, this is what just amazes me because they're they're getting on everybody's case for muting and all that other crap. Uh, Steve actually unbroadcasted Tommy, and Tommy's sitting over the whole time. Every couple of seconds, he's getting interrupted, and they're just they're not letting him speak. They're over talking him, and um. They're getting defensive because Tommy's right. I mean, where is your evidence for this? You can't just shift your burden of proof here. I mean, don't tell me to go do the work for you that you should be doing, right? Right. That's Where's just... your evidence? So, anyway, so you were getting muted uh, by uh, you said unbroadcasted or muted? Or well, by... he did it once. Steve muted me once. I don't even know why. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, being obnoxious. I don't believe. Um, but we were all kind of engaged. We we're all kind of engaged in a kind of an excited sort of way, but you know. Oh, if you like I can answer that. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Steve, Steve lives with Lyrical, and uh, everybody was talking over each other, so he just really quickly muted a few people, myself included. Mm. I believe he did, so I wasn't quite looking. Um, just to make a point, you know, and then quickly mm. unmuted once because uh, he can't talk very loud. Like I can't talk very loud because my roommate is sleeping right next to me. Oh yeah, I understand that. I understand that, but I think that it was a little one of getting some feedback. Is that cool? Yeah, I'm trying to. I, I got a really slow connection that's right there. Just... Well, I knew Fiona was in trouble when she was goading me to go do her research and to compare these sequences. I mean, I was asking her very simple questions, and she was like, "Well, you know, go do it. You know, go do it yourself." And it's like, I mean, the onus is not on me. The onus is on you. Right. I think that what was I think what happened right there. If anybody just goes and watches the discussion, was that they saw how you were pressing, or they saw, I think they realized how it looked, and that's the reason why they un unbroadcasted you. Because out of everybody that was yelling and over talking, getting over charismatic, I mean, you were hardly speaking, so there was no reason for them to unbroadcast you. So I, th I think they might have just used that. he might have just used that as an excuse that Larico was sleeping, so that he could, uh, you know, try to. Get you to stop, you know. Yeah. I'm always asking amazed those questions when I, when I watch these, and I don't watch myself very often because I don't like watching myself. But occasionally I do. But I'm, I'll probably go back and watch this one. But it felt like I was getting interrupted constantly, you know, like uh, in the middle of a sentence, in the middle of, a, you know, I don't get to say paragraphs really. But I wouldn't get really able to to get much of a thought out a lot of times before they would bombard me, and that's that's normal. And I don't. Yeah, you know that's kind of part of conversation, but I try to at least give people leeway to finish their thought. And uh, but I don't always get that. It doesn't seem like in the middle of it. So I'm gonna go back and watch it and see what uh, <laughs> see what I think of it though after after the fact. Hey John. Oh there's. Got actually... Oh Steve's here. Steve. Hey welcome Steve. Okay, what's going on, Steve? Well, I cannot hear you if he's talking. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, yes, we can hear you. Um, yeah, I just I wanted to just, just say something real quick. I, I got to go um, start I'm doing another hangout. But um, to, to response to what you were saying before about you think I'm using an excuse that I'm just waking lyrical, how dare you? 
call me a liar. When they, I specifically told Tommy the only reason I am broadcasting it was I could not talk loud because after 10 o'clock the rule is I could not talk loud because I have lyrical sleeping right next door. And if you just mm-hmm. see that I was using that as an excuse and then I had to broadcast him because he was coming up with some kind of information we didn't want anybody to hear, that's absurd. Tommy has been in my room countless times. He gets well, very well, well, here's what I Here's, here, here's what I can do. Are you going to apologize can, to me? No, absolutely not. Here's what okay. I can do. I can screen share that, and then we can see how everybody was over-talking him and yelling over him, and you guys were not letting him talk. And I think everybody will clearly see that it didn't make any sense for you to mute Tommy out of everybody else there. Okay, so you're not going to apologize. Steve, he didn't call you a liar. No. He, he was, he was he making said, an opinion. He, just, he, doesn't, Tommy, he was not calling Tommy, you a liar, Steve. So. He just said I used well, I chill used, out, I used, Steve. Tommy, um, did he not just say that he used an excuse that I couldn't talk loud to mute you and to to right. you from broadcast? How we, how about, no, no, look, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this, Steve. Correct. Um, we're talking about this ATP synthase situation. So, are you do gonna, you have any gonna, evidence for this are, evolution of ATP synthase? Uh, so you're not going to apologize, and you're gonna, you're, you're literally going to tell I'm me not, right Steve, now, Steve, right? Steve, so you're not Steve, I'm not going to apologize for. Tommy, so, I'm not going to. I'm not going to apologize for something that you did. Right. Seriously, this is unnecessary. Now, Steve. Tommy, hold on. Steve, can I talk come on now. Second? Steve, no, no, Steve, stop it now. You're just coming in here for drama, okay? Like, if you want to have a discussion, we can have a discussion, okay? We're on this ATP synthase thing, so I would actually like to hear you give your evidence. For the I, ATP I would like synthase. you to tell your audience why you're like fussing. Excuse you me, I'm not being able to talk loud. Steve, hold on. It, it's here's here's really what I'll do, Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve. I can take another video, hey, take that session out, and show people what. Before y'all start. All right, everybody's got to look at. I'm trying to talk here. And you're not, you guys aren't going to come in here and try to dominate the room. We can have a civilized discussion, but this is not going to happen, okay? Now, if you want me to put up another video later, and I can do that, taking that section out and showing people how you were, you all were over-talking Tommy repeatedly, everybody raising their voice except for Tommy, then I think that people would clearly see, if I were to show that clip, that you had no reason to unbroadcast him. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care about how you feel about what I said right now. That's not my concern. If you want to talk about this ATP synthase thing that we were on, you are more than well, welcome to talk about that. But we're not about to get into drama because it's pointless, okay? So basically, you falsely accused me by saying that I thought I could not. Steve, I did not just like him, what happened in your room, room. Steve. Okay. Every, so anyway, Steve, every hangout that you get, every hangout that you're in, you give false opinions by me all the time, okay, things that are completely in, inaccurate. Yeah, I that... explained to you just now why it appeared what happened. You're coming and you're saying and, that and I am lying you. because you're, you didn't you're, like no, my you're, assessment you're of it. You're incorrect on your no, assessment. No, no. And I'm telling you Steve. why you're incorrect on your assessment. But I cannot talk loud, okay? okay? But let me explain okay. to your audience because you, you brought up the claim. Let me explain to your audience why you're wrong. I cannot talk loud after 10 o'clock, okay? And you just said that you I'm using Lyrical Ryan as an excuse why I have to mute him. That is complete. <coughs> and I'm, no. that's all I have Here's to what I'm concerned with, Steve. Okay? I'm concerned and with I, one I, thing. All right. I, I look at I don't care about your interpretation of it. I can clearly take that clip out not. and just show people what you said. Show people what happened. That's all I have to do. I don't have to twist right. the events like you do. Now, I'm not concerned with any of this drama right now. Do you have any scientific points or evidence to justify the claims that you made? In the I have evidence thing? that you're talking of about right now. Stop, Steve. We're talking about it right now. ATP synthase. Yeah, I have no interest in it. No thanks. But I will tell okay. you that I, you, I just proved you you have a so fallacy. What are you to trying me. to do? Are you just in here to try oh, to get uh, get me to kick you so that you can you know you're just trying to talk about drama because I want to oh, have a civilized yes, discussion. Uh, okay, yeah. so can I interject? This is getting a little too heated. Yeah, I, and I can't talk loud. But I just wanted to make a point that what True is saying about me not being able to talk loud is because Lyrical is sleeping, and he made a comment that it wasn't because of that. And that's, no, that's not right and wrong. In, okay? in, all fairness, in all fairness, I am in the same situation, so I understand completely. <clears throat> I understand that too, but I, like I said, in the context of that discussion, okay. <laughs> clearly many, I think that was being used as an excuse. Tommy, how many times have I you, wait, how many, Tommy, wait, how, many, how many times have I ever heard you from broadcast, stop. Tommy? You stop about it. Stop. Stop. We're not going to do this. Okay. All right. Yeah, you me one if more you're time. in here, I want listen to me. Please, listen hold on. Stop. Stop it. Stop trying to overtalk me and trying to make it about something else. Okay. I don't care if you don't like what I just said right now. This is my hangout, and just like in your hangout, we talk about things that you 
have responded to or that you have heard from other people say, okay? You respond to the things that I say all the time in my Hangouts and you make all sorts of accusations and statements. I'm not concerned with that. And the fact that you don't like what I'm saying in my room, you need to take your own advice and stop talking about other people in your room. I will talk because about I think that at least the difference between me and you, great. And the same thing here. If you don't yeah, like what I got to say, you, you know, guys, 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 right, guys, guys, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm in here trying to have a discussion with you and you're coming here for drama. The, well, I mean, the what do you want? What do you want to come in here for? Just to poison the well? I mean, the make a point. Being, I mean, sure. My point is this. My point is this. You can come into my room and correct anything that I've ever said about you. You're more than welcome to. I've never. You're in here now. All right. You're in here okay. now. Right now, Steve. True, please, Steve, please, you're in here now. You've now no, muted. Hannah, me. stop. Talk. Hannah, everybody, stop talking now. Wait. Okay. Chill. Everybody, stop talking. We're going to talk about the ATP synthase thing now. Well, I'm not. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I know why you want me in your room. Listen to me. I saw that room, and I saw how everybody was yelling over Tommy and screaming over him. That's how you want it. And this oh, hangout, I true? want being civilized. And this is yes, that is true. Okay, then let me ask. Now you I this. want. Li listen to me, Steve. Stop. I, I don't I, want to have to start muting you, but I'm going to get my point out. We're not going on these these you know sidestepping to different points right now. We're going to start talking about this ATP synthase thing because now Tommy has. Other people inside of a room, and if you want to send the link out to other people as well, we can now begin to respond to the statements that you were making in the other hangout. That's where I want to go, okay? okay. Talking about something of substance. I want to okay? address Tommy real quick, if I may. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Tommy, the last thing I asked you before you left was, I said, do you, was it, we referred to you. Did you get your honest shake? And you said everything was fine. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was uh, an exciting sort of animated hangout. Uh, did but you, did you watch my other hangouts? By the way, Tommy, have you seen my hangout with? Um, I had hangouts with um, Remy. I had hangouts with I'm Awake. I had hangouts with David S. I had hangouts with Justin. I had hangouts with a lot of younger creationists. Did you see me in any way have to mute them at any time, or did the conversation get out of hand, or did I treat them in, inappropriately? Did I mute them six, seven, eight times in a row, like like I've just been muted, or did I boot any of them? Look, let me just clear the air here. Okay, it's a yes so, or no question. Okay, I don't watch. I don't generally watch your hangouts with with other people. It's not that I avoid them. I just you know I have a life, so I don't watch all your hangouts. But you should. The, the point is, okay, well, <laughs> Canada does. The point is, I think I think you try, but. Um, and so I, I, I give you credit for, for that. Um, I don't think you're trying to be unfair, uh, but just the way that the Hangout a lot of time is structured with, with eight or nine people, it is it does happen that I am constantly, constantly interrupted. I mean, I and and it's, I not, it's not necessarily you. Yes. Uh, it's just kind of a culmination of everyone, and I'm not even blaming you for being a bad mod. I think you're a pretty reasonable mod, but um, it does happen that – it is. It does kind of get out of control with the interruptions and. And, and I, I, I having said that, one more thing. Having, having said that, I wouldn't go in there if I didn't. If I didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, I, I've come to expect it, just because the nature of the argument is is exciting. But it is a. It is a little. Uh, you know, like Fiona told me, "What's your f off?" Or told me an f wit. Oh yeah. So and it. You know, it got to that level several times tonight, and. You know, on the personal level, which is unnecessary, I think. But I, you know, it is it is a pretty much a talk over Tommy fest for the most part. I don't have a terribly strong, uh, forceful, I guess, personality in that way to to express myself over uh, volume wise everyone else. So I do get a, end up getting talked over quite a bit. And, and I and agree with you. I've noticed that, and I've and I've tried to to prevent that. Even Hannah has said, "Hey, you know, let Tommy make his point." I'll say, "Let yeah. Tommy." Point. I have tried to give you the best possible benefit of the doubt, and but that is a lot different than when I come into these kind of rooms. Drew and Pierce, I've been here f literally two minutes. I've been muted seven times. All right, Steve, you see, see what I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to come here and poison the well. Mm -hmm. You've been muted because I told you repeatedly to stop trying to make it about drama. I'm it, not concerned with it. I'm true, concerned true. with talking about one point. Now, Steve, stop. Have. Stop it. See, this stop. is what I'm saying. Doing it. Stop it. I'm talking. You I'm talking, and you're now over talking me. This is not your room. You need to chill for a second, okay? I'm del I'm constantly telling you I don't want to talk about drama. I want to talk about some points. Now, in your hangout, we're going to move to that issue right now, okay? And hopefully there will be no muting. In your hangout that you were in with uh, Tommy recently, I didn't get to watch the whole hangout. Obviously, I don't watch your hangouts. I might watch like 10 minutes here or 5 minutes there. But there was a situation going on over the ATP synthase thing. Would you like to give your sources over here on the side so that we can talk about them? 
No, I'm not going to talk to you about ATP synthase in your room. You can come into my room, and I'll talk to you all about anything you want. Ah, you see? Oh, it's my God. Difference. Shut up. Okay, let somebody else talk. If you're not, you're coming in here for the same, for the sole purpose to say that, look, I went to Chewie's room, but I avoided talking with him. Anyways, right? I got Just muted again. Quiet so you stay, stay, different... stay quiet and stand aside, then. Let somebody else talk, yeah, right? Goodbye, because goodbye, I want to have a goodbye. discussion. Yeah, Hexapod, hey, please come to my hangout. This is ridiculous. Um, okay. Just hey, Steve, can I say something before you leave? It's okay. <laughs> you see what I mean, guys? I wasn't unfair to him. He came to the office and tried to act like I was me. I, I wanted to have a discussion with him. Steve has this. this and weird... what he wants to do, he actually sent me a message on the side. Just really quick, guys. He actually sent me a message the other day. He keeps saying that. You can come to my room and talk. But he actually sent me a message saying that if I come into a room with him, he doesn't want to have a one on one. He wants me to answer Chris Bruce and somebody else's questions. What is that? I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, I can just really quickly interject here. Um, Tommy, was I unfair to you at all during Steve's hangout? No. Okay, just you know, just want to establish that really quick. Um, true, I think a big problem that is happening on both sides is that immediately when Steve or somebody else joins your room or you join theirs, there's you know aggression that goes on right away, like almost from the outset. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but there was no aggression there at all. I was I, when he came in here. I was actually excited that he came in here because I've been trying to get him in for a while, and I was trying to be fair. I didn't want it to make it about drama, which he came in here for the sole purpose to do. I wanted to talk about the science that he was trying to get into with Tommy in the last hangout. If we talk about drama, of course, it's going to turn aggressive right. because I'm saying so. things he doesn't like or want it, doesn't want to hear. Okay. I don't think that we. I hold on, hi Hannah. I don't think that we should ignore the fact. That why he just came in here. He came in here for the sole purpose just to try to poison the well and to try to, you know, at, at, attack my hangout and, and not have a discussion. Now we can say. Hey, that look, I did go in Trues' room, but when he came into my room, he avoided having a discussion. So I think, yeah. But um, sorry, I don't want to make this about drama. I don't want to make this about another drama hangout. I really don't want to do that. Um, That's fine. I so, just wanted to share my observations if, if you would so have Okay. I'm still, I still was not following his logic of accusing you of lying. I mean, if you can, you can make an opinion about something, or you, as you were describing, you know, you, you see the events unfold. You see th how things went down, and it's okay to make an assertion or a belief. Um, your belief... Or your, you know, your weighing of the evidence and seeing what's happened is not a lie, you know, if, if it's your opinion. And Steve has done that to me multiple times, accuse me of lying when I either, uh, you know, make my opinion or I, maybe if I get something wrong, he'll actually he'll call me a liar. And so mm -hmm. he, I don't think he understands what it really means to lie. I mean, a lie is an intentional, uh, you know, you're you're intending to deceive someone or intending to twist the fact. Right. And you know that's that's not what happens with me, and I don't think that's what happened with you. It's just your opinion. I think that he may have taken personal offense to you know what uh, true empiricism was suggest was suggesting. Again, it was based off his opinion. You know, he didn't say that factually, as far as I can recall. But uh, I think he just he just took a special offense to it, and then you know well, it, it prompted well, that. Well, you know, that, that's I, like you know, him using somebody. Sorry, that's like him using somebody else as an excuse. You know, which is like, oh, that's a dick move kind of thing. 